Oh, welcome, one and all, to another Predecessor Hero Guide. Today we're going to be talking about Predecessor's newest character as of recording this video, and that is Revenant. In this guide, I will outline every ability, show you common combos, and explain Revenant's playstyle and role in teamfights. If you want to jump to any particular part of the video, check the description for timestamps. If you want to see more guides in the future, be sure to subscribe. Without further ado, I hope this helps. Revenant the Bounty Hunter is an ADC that specializes in single target damage and snowballing into the late game. This brand new hero to Predecessor is a force to be reckoned with who will easily win you games if you know what you're doing. Revenant has incredible snowball potential as he gets rewarded more heavily for each kill he secures. You definitely want to build mostly critical chance on this character. Let's get into the guide so you can start collecting bounties yourself. Revenant's passive ability is called Bounty Hunter. Revenant gains increased physical power and his attack speed accelerates his reload speed instead of his fire rate. The bonus physical power provided scales by an additional 1% for every 10% critical strike chance Revenant has. This passive also grants Revenant with additional gold for every enemy hero he kills. The gold bonus provided by this passive increases by 25 gold for each kill Revenant has. This passive is fantastic for helping Revenant scale into the late game, as he will continue getting more and more gold from his kills, and his power will continue to grow as he increases his crit chance, which he will already be building anyway. Revenant has the most complex basic attack in the game with his hand cannon. This is a ranged attack that deals physical damage. Every four basic attacks, Revenant will have to reload his weapon. Every fourth round of Revenant Cylinder will always be a critical hit. Revenant's hand cannon automatically reloads after the fourth shot. There isn't much to be said about this basic attack, but the guaranteed critical hit is fantastic, and you should poke with it almost every chance you get. Revenant's right mouse button is Hellfire Rounds, and it is automatically unlocked at level 1, in addition to whichever ability you wish to choose as your first level point. This ability has two passives and an active. First, his critical damage is increased by a percentage based on the level of this ability. This pairs very well with Revenant's guaranteed crit strike on this final round of a cylinder. Second, the final round of Revenant's primary fire deals bonus physical damage equal to a percentage of the enemy's missing health. This passive is great for finishing off low health enemy targets, which really helps him stack his bounty hunter passive, yet again snowballing how much gold he earns per kill. The active ability on Hellfire Rounds is a manual reload on Revenant's hand cannon. This ability uses no mana whatsoever, and the reload has a 2 second cooldown. Revenant's Q is Obliterate. Revenant fires 10 ethereal missiles that will home in on random enemy targets in a wide cone in front of himself. These missiles deal physical damage, but scale off of both physical and magical power. Enemies will only take 15% damage from any missiles beyond the first one that lands. This ability is great for finishing off enemies, clearing waves, and dealing damage while you reload. Yes, you heard that right. You can use this ability mid-reload animation to maximize your damage output. Revenant's E is Scar. Revenant scars his target enemy hero, dealing a small amount of physical damage and marking them for 5 seconds. A number of instances of damage Revenant deals to his enemy hero slows them and deals bonus magical damage. The number of damage instances this applies to scales based on the ability's level. This ability is fantastic for boosting your damage output and slowing down your enemies. The slow can also stack, applying up to a 50% slow at maximum level. This makes for a great combo that I will cover later on. Revenant's ultimate ability is Reckoning. Revenant pulls himself and his target into the Nether Realm for a short time and roots his target for 0.5 seconds. The Nether Realm is like Revenant's personal little pocket dimension. No one can do anything to affect Revenant or his opponent while they are in this Nether Realm, and vice versa. So this is a great way to isolate a 1v1 fight with an opponent. Just be certain that you can win the fight. If Revenant kills his opponent while inside the Nether Realm, the bonus gold he gains from its Bounty Hunter passive will be doubled for that kill. This is one of Revenant's key abilities to help him snowball into the late game. Use this as often as possible when finishing off an enemy in order to maximize your economy. Do keep in mind that this also prevents you and your opponent from taking tower damage or being attacked by any other minion camps or even for Prime. Though you cannot use this ultimate ability against buffs like the Orb Prime or Fangtooth, you can use it to stop enemies from killing it. So if there's only, say, the enemy jungler on the camp, 
and uh, you want your team to be able to steal it from him, you can jump in, pull him into your nether realm, and your enemy can freely take it without being uh, interfered with. Alright, now you may have already pieced this together based off of ability descriptions, but Revenant's early game combo is Scar followed by Obliterate. The Scar will enhance the damage of the following Obliterate, and if multiple missiles strike your Scarred opponent, they will rapidly stack the slow to apply up to a 30% slow from one cast of Obliterate. This is at level 1 of Scar. In addition to the slow, the damage of each missile will be boosted significantly as Scar deals 15% bonus magical damage to your enemy for each instance of damage dealt. This combo evolves when you unlock your ultimate ability, because if you use your ultimate before your Scar Obliterate combo, there will be no additional enemies around you for your Obliterate missiles to randomly home in on. Thus, your full 10 missiles will strike your opponent and guarantee that you max out the slow stacks applied by Scar. Follow this up with your primary fire, and you'll be hitting the easiest shots of your life against your slowed opponent. And if you skipped the ability description portion of this video, I will note that in between your reloads, during the animation, you can use your obl obliterate at the same time. So you can easily use this to maximize your damage output by using obliterate between magazines. As an ADC, it's going to be very important for you to focus on getting CS in the early game, and ramping yourself up into the mid to late game. Revenant is an absolute force to be reckoned with in this game, and realistically you shouldn't have too many problems with uh, enemy laners. I'd be more concerned about any gankers, as you do not have any escape potential, uh, aside from maybe your ultimate to isolate the 1v1 instead of actually getting grouped up on, but otherwise you're out of luck if you get dove on. Uh, so you gotta play pretty safely if you know that they have a strong ganking jungler. Nearing the mid to late game, it's going to be your objective to isolate 1v1s, ideally with the enemy ADC, to take them out of the fight as early as possible. Whoever you know you can take is kind of the one you want to be pulling out. Um, you don't want to risk fighting someone that you're just going to die to in a 1v1. Uh, but it's going to be really important to pop your ultimate and take people out of the fight. This can also be really useful to get rid of people who are using a really strong channeled ability, such as a Gideon ultimate, for example. You can pull him into your little nether realm, and he won't be able to affect your team any further. So if you get it at the beginning of his cast, you should be able to pretty much completely cancel it uh, with regards to the rest of your team. Now, the root, I believe, will still stop him out of his ultimate, so that'll also cancel it, and you won't take the extra damage inside of it. Aside from that, just keep your distance and hold left click, uh, use your Q as often as possible, uh, ideally after your E, and you'll be golden. For items on Revenant, I recommend picking up Resolution pretty early on. Uh, the Soul Chalice uh, Critical Font is really helpful. Killing an enemy minion grants bonus mana up to a maximum of 400. At maximum stacks, gain 2.5% of your bonus mana as additional crit strike chance. Crit Strike Chance is fantastic, and uh, the extra mana is going to be great as well. Resolution also gives you the 3% of your maximum mana as bonus physical damage on hit, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't really need to explain that one, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Imperator is another fantastic item for you, uh, especially mid to late game. Gain 1 physical power per 4% Crit Strike Chance. Uh, critical Strikes deal 15% more damage. This is going to be really nice. It's not going to be super noticeable early on, but later on that extra physical power will be fantastic for you. And the uh, crit strike damage is just going to help you so much. Ashbringer is another pretty good item on Revenant. Uh, clockwork basic attacks against enemy heroes decrease your current basic ability cooldowns. Uh, this effect is doubled when you deal critical strike, which you're going to be doing often. So realistically, this is a no-brainer. You're going to want to be hitting your Q as often as possible, and this will allow you to do that more often. Basic attacks deal bonus physical damage. Uh, your physical damage ignores 35% of your target's physical armor. This is also fantastic. Always love a little bit of armor penetration. I wouldn't worry too much with uh, focusing on attack speed with things like Dust Devil. I don't think it's really that important. Um, like I said, attack speed only affects the time it takes you to reload. It doesn't actually affect the uh, fire rate of your gun. So that's something to keep, important when, uh, keep in mind when it comes to uh, attack speed. Viper is another really good item. Uh, dealing damage to an enemy hero reduces their physical armor by 5% for 2 seconds, up to 6 times. Uh, your Q is going to stack this up really fast, and you're going to easily shred their physical armor. 
Uh, your crit strikes deal 15% more damage against targets with six stacks of corrode. Again, this is really good, particularly against any composition with a bit more uh, a bit, bit more of a front line. So uh, a little bit more situational than the others, but I definitely recommend looking at it. And for your final item, there's a few options here. Uh, you can go with Lightning Hawk. Every fourth successful basic attack deals bonus magical damage, increasing with physical power, and slows your target. This is just another way to buff your fourth attack. Uh, Terminus. Excess healing from lifesteal is converted into a shield. Uh, you get a little bit of lifesteal out of this item. It's good for survivability. Uh, Tainted Rounds. This is pretty much just in here because we have characters like Chimera, Rampage, and Countess running rampant. And this is just going to stop them from healing a lot. Uh, Sky Splitter is another fantastic one. Again, lifesteal. Uh, deal 5% of the tar tar target... Bleh. Deal 5% of the target's current health as bonus physical damage on hit, and heal equal to 50% of the bonus damage dealt. So those are pretty much all the items I typically recommend. You can definitely look at other options, but these are the kind of core items I would be looking at. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and if you want to recommend any items, let me know, because uh, Revenant is still quite new, and I haven't got to experience every item on him just yet. All right, and that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. If you have any questions, comments, or additions to this video, let me know down in the comment section. Without further ado, have a lovely rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, and night. Bye-bye. Uh,